Hi and welcome to Puerto Rico, San Juan at the Madea Light Temple, Puerto Rico Open. My name is Marcus Shimata, I'm from Sweden. Mr. Napoleon with me is no other than the Silver Fox Mark White. And this future matchup is Mr. Carlo Biado from the Philippines and from Japan, Mr. Yuki Yamasaki Akariyami, excuse me. And Biado breaking for one of the legs, so he's breaking first. Last year's US Open champion. First look at him. Mark, what do you think? Who are you picking in this match? Well, I don't really know much about the guy from Japan. I know lots more about Biardo, but having said that, Biardo not having the best of seasons. You know, he won the US Open and everyone thought, wow, you know, he's going to be on a roll. But hasn't really done a lot, let's say, or not as much as was expected. So who knows, this could be his tournament. And I don't know what his eight ball's like, but he's going to have a chance in the eight ball as well, so... Interesting, interesting matchup. Yeah, I haven't seen Nakagiriyama in, in a few years actually on the scene, you know. He won the World Championship in, in Qatar, it was it 2012, I think. And other than that, he's not, I haven't seen him much, so, so to say. Yeah, some great players out of Japan. No Kyoi, of course. Yuki Hiraguchi, a lovely little Yuki. She's a great fun character, isn't she? She's playing in the women's event. First chance then. I say chance, he's jumping over to make this off the side rail. Good hit. Nice shot. Very good hit. As you might have heard our referee Dwayne Payne say. Yep, there you see the replay, very nicely played. And roll this one in, Marcus. Just shave off the edge of that eight ball. And another story was when he won the World Championships in Qatar, he gave all his prize money to the to the victims of uh, in Japan. You remember ten that years? The earthquake. Ago? Yeah. All his prize money he gave away to it. I think. Wow! How nice. Or is if that? it was a uh, half of it or something, I don't know. I forgot. Oh, what a brilliant shot that is. Digging down on the cue ball. Had to do that, of course, to come off the side rail. And finished absolutely perfect on this three ball. What a great start. Showing us all his stroke, isn't he? Didn't quite uh, get that. Really, can he bank this one though? I think he might be able to bank this five, you know. That eight is covering him. Is it? Yeah. He's gonna try to play it safe. If he can clip it, clip the five. He's jump, jump bank. Jumping. Jump bank. Jump back to where you right belong. Yeah. With a that was pushing the boat out a little bit too far, to be honest. The Ninja Turtle from Manila, Philippines. Is he the, the Ninja Turtle or is he the Black Tiger? I heard he's the Black Tiger. Has he got two nicknames? Ninja Turtle, I made it up. Ah. Nobody else told it. He's got a very positive stride around the, the table, Biardo. Good to watch when he's in full flow. Typical Filipino. <laughs> very loose grip on the cue. Loose game, right? Yeah, very flowing. Good to watch. It's like the Brazilians when they play football. Ronaldinho. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, you see that, that little flicking of the, the hand, the cue, the grip, relaxing.
the sat nav working already finding his way around this nine by four and a half foot table the predator arc uh, predator apex table of course he's been around the game now for a few years mark look you know that he's playing in the world cup of pool and all the, the masters the u.s opens like he's gonna be the new the new filipino star but it's too early to say still still got a lot to prove obviously and big shoes to fill after efren and, and bustamante i mean it's almost like impossible come on let's have the conversation then who is the best ever player well it's, it's got to be earl or efren i think still they made they made i think they made this a lot for this game they made it to where it is now it's like you compare uh, Michael Jordan in the basketball scene, for example. Roger Federer in tennis. I mean, er obviously Earl took nine ball to another level when he came up. With a, with a po more powerful game. Yeah, he's more of a nine ball, isn't he, than anything else, Earl? Yeah. And Ephraim, obviously, with, with the kick safety, and he, he, he showed the world that you can not only hit the ball you can you can actually leave a, a safety also afterwards you know obviously the amount of talent he okay ball. he shows not only kicking and knowledge about the game and crazy shots how would you describe biardo's break yeah it was uh, <laughs> I think I think the director might have thought I said commercial break, but no, I was talking about the break break. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. A little bit of a, a, a technical hitch. Opportunity here on the one. I must say, I haven't seen this guy play very much, but I'm impressed with what I have seen so far. It's a good shot maker. He certainly is. And we've got a couple of good shot makers over on our other table as well. We've got Johan Chua playing against Viktor Zelensky on our Facebook page. If you want to go and watch that. And of course, if you want to watch any of the other games going on, there's lots of ladies games going on at the moment as well. You can go to kazoom.com zoom.com I beg your pardon and choose which table you want to watch it's all absolutely free you just have to register doesn't cost you a penny not a dime <laughs> everybody likes it for free something for free right? we all want something for free <laughs> sometime don't we yeah so we are with a kick shot Let's watch and learn what the Filipinos are doing here. What way are they going to kick? What, what are they going to do? What kind of speed are they going to hit it at? I think they could earn a fortune just coaching kicking, actually. What about that? A, kick, a coaching clinic of kicking. We can see the, the three, so we played fair play safe. I think he got there. He's got a round of applause for it, so guessing he has lots of English lots of left hand side on the cue ball there he's got it right behind that 10 and I think this is definitely going to be a jump shot a master of stating the obvious there well he's going to leave this on so the good safety is paid off for Biardo didn't really threaten the pocket with that jump shot. Doesn't look over worried. Yeah, Filipinos tend to use a lot more English, don't they, to get around the, the table than 
power all the time. Let the, they love the cue ball to run its natural course as well, mm. you know, keep it going forwards rather than drawing it back. Yeah, I think it, it comes from where the tables over there are really wet and that it's not equi good equipment at all, so they need, they need to u watch out here. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh dear. really annoyed with that and so he should be I mean he had so much room to play with there he's trying to get too cute huh? was he saying that it sped up or something come off the rail quick well whatever happened he's left this on so a mistake from Carlo Biardo far enough no not really should have been a lot easier than this November the 18th in your diary guys it's coming it's the junior world nine ball championships at this very event at this very venue that's coming for you soon we've also got the ladies Puerto Rico Madaya light open down goes the 10 it's one apiece Akagariyama. We're going for a quick break, guys. We'll be back. Lovely pictures here. Look at the fans. I actually met those guys. They're from Canada. And that young lady you just saw there is, is Hannah. And she's playing in the the junior nine ball world championships that mm. I just mentioned. And she's come all the way. And they, they have good friends with our other co-commentator, Jim White. Mm. So there you go. That's who that was. Enjoying this game. Hannah two, Fala. Two great players. In a really nice match up here. Japan versus the Philippines. How lucky are we just to be sat here, ringside seat, just talking about what we love? Mm. It's, it's nice. I love it. Dream come true, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Life doesn't get better than this, Marcus. Puerto Rico. Poof. Right? Absolutely. Loving every minute of it. And this is only one of six tournaments we've got going on this week when you say it like that it just makes you realize the enormity of this what we're involved with here <laughs> i mean predator are really pushing the boundaries here aren't they yeah they're they're stepping it up investing kareem bohaj putting his money where his mouth is coming up with the goods not just talking about it doing it and all you pool players out there, 
juniors, if you're looking to get into a growing sport, it's coming, it's growing. Yeah, what I was saying in the Philippines, the, the tables are so wet and... Uh, when you, you say know, wet, all, all, it, it, it all you know, for the viewers out there that don't really understand humidity. What, a, what a wet table yeah, is. Yeah, humidity, smoky, humidity, moisture, or all, all around the cloth and the tables. You know, there's there's chickens walking around and around the tables there, you know. Could be a fly on the on the on the felt. And really all felt. So that's I think that's the reason why they spin they like to spin around because drawing is, is not gonna cover, you're not gonna get anywhere with drawing the cue ball. Even, even the chickens out there say cockle doodle cue. <laughs> It's just some players, Marcus, that just relax you when you watch them, you know, and just you can just sit back and enjoy them, you know. I and mean, Biardo is one of them. Yeah. I just love watching him. He's still, he's like smooth as silk, you know. I just love it. Class player, you reckon? Huh? Yeah. I think of all the Filipinos, though, he has got a little bit of a swag. He's got a little bit of a. Um, he maybe doesn't remain calm as as much as the others do. Who? Piado? Yeah, he shows a little bit of emotion, which we're not used to seeing from. Yeah, when he won the, the US Asian Open, he was, when he won the US Open, he was in tears of, afterwards. In yeah. Mental. So was Yap. Yeah. For the up for the wrong reason. <laughs> and it goes then to one, Carlo Biado. The black tiger pouncing. Another play we thought was going to be a Filipino that's going to thought going to be dominating for years was Ronnie Alcano. Yeah, but he did. He did. He won. He won a world championships in eight ball, and he won a world championships in nine ball back in Manila, 2000. Six, I think, in the top 2008 against Ralph in the final it was epic. An epic final it was. For a week, he played perfect pool, okay. No? Wow, that's hard to do. He even played Efren in the I think, quarter final or the last 16. Now, this arena is very colorful. It's uh, party-like, isn't it? And we're on the party island, Puerto Rico, breaking off. Yeah, I, th I don't is think this spinning? break is going to get it, give him uh, the snowball. He, need, he's, he needs to change it up. Yeah, he's not got the best. You see, he's breaking, good from, break, the, he's but breaking from the centre, but he's not giving it enough pace. The, the, the wing balls aren't making the side pockets, are they? They're There's coming not, he's low. Not, he's not even getting close to making the ball, so no. he needs to change it up. Yeah. Maybe break from the side or take speed off or add speed. Something something different, I guess. I don't mind him breaking from the p position that he is because look at the spread he's getting. He's getting nice spreads, but that is the danger with that breaking. That's what we were talking about in the last, on our last match, wasn't it? About breaking from the side, everyone. Well, he's got, a, what's he going to play here? Is he going to play the eight, Karen? <coughs> or he'll, he'll play safe. Eight. He said eight. Yeah. <laughs> I asked him and he told me. <laughs> what are you playing, Carlo? Eight. Yeah, taking a chance on the one ball. Has that chance yeah, paid off? No, it hasn't. He's lost the one ball. That was the danger. But we know he's kicking ability. He'll probably kick behind the seven ball here and get him tight behind that seven. Oh, not a great kick. Not bad. For Biardo. Yeah, it's he okay, left distance and... Uh, the two doesn't pass the seven, so 
just high expectations of him, you know. You expect him to kick, like kick and hook. Yeah. Kick like Efren. Bend it like Beckham. talking about Qatar earlier on there's a World Cup coming up there isn't there but not eight ball or anything it's football mm -hmm. starting what end of the week yeah it's starting yeah. on Saturday I believe mm -hmm. isn't it England's chances zero Maguire in, in, uh, in defense <laughs> oh good look at this shot how's that for you Certainly, lots going on there. I'm not sure what he called. Might have called the one in the side. Yeah, you'd expect him to get on the hill from this position. Nothing tied up, all in the open. Five, six, and seven all down one end. One bit of travelling to do, I expect, just from the the nine to the ten but that's about it with Conrad Musician at the end of the match that we just commentated him against Sanjin Perlovanovic and he said I don't know what happened he said I was doing okay in the first set missed the ball don't know how I lost well he played awful in the second set right? I didn't tell I him mean, that awful that's and what awful I was thinking yeah, <laughs> awful and awful I'll I mean, tell him you said that <laughs> he was not on his game I mean no, he wasn't. pretty simple you just have to you, you have to be honest to yourself I felt a bit sorry for him because he was stood with Victor Zelensky Mieszko Fortunski and Sh and Bart Shapla his fellow Polish friends and they all won he was the only one that lost out mm. of the three he wants to leave himself a good angle looks good looks perfect Filipino perfect yeah certainly is twice across Short side. Filipinos, they don't waste too much time, is it? They like to go go about about the game. How do you say it? <laughs> time is money, my friend. Time is money. Get it over as quick as you can. You don't get paid any extra for staying on the table longer. <laughs> Okay, Zelensky. we're just going to nip for a quick break, guys, and we'll we're back very, very soon.
Welcome back. Carlo Biardo about to break off. He's on the hill in this first race to four. Two races. And if we're level after those two sets, then we do go to a shootout. But the way this is going so far, Marcus Shamat in the booth next to me. It's going one way at the moment, isn't it? So far, it's looking good for him. For Biado, it's looking good, smooth. We all know that they can change at any time. Yeah, it's and his Achilles heel at the moment has been that break, and he hasn't made a ball again on it. And as you say, maybe should start thinking about maybe changing something up. Oh, he's hooked him. Has he got through that gap there? He hasn't left a gap through there, surely. <laughs> Uh, no, he's gone for the, the shorty. It's old Ralph Suke there playing. Ralph Ruffy. Yeah. Oh no, don't scratch. Oh uh, it did. Unlucky. Start the clock, please. Chua is there. Playing Selinski. Good crowd showing up for this match, huh? Yeah, it's been well promoted, this event, on Puerto Rican TV, and we've had a lot of people, especially last night, we had a crowd of about 50 people around one table watching a shootout as down, we see the tempo. Well, that was a nice, quick win to win the first set. Yeah, crowds beginning to show up, and of course the weekend coming, we're expecting huge crowds. The crowd loved that one as well. We were saying about how Biardo likes to get on with it, and you know, time is money. Certainly didn't waste any time there. Four one in favour of him. Yeah, he ran away with that, didn't he? There you see the Kamui badge on his shirt. One of our partners as our jam up apparel, seabirds.com. Everything you need, pool related, visit them guys, www.seabirds.com. And also our Pro Billiard Series partners, Predator and CSI, Q Sports International, who are also running the Caribbean leagues. Second set then. Break off this time first for Yuki Agariyama. He made a ball on the break. Yeah, and that's something that Biardo hasn't been doing. And strangely enough, though, took the first set 4 1. Two ball down the corner. Three ball is laying in kind of tough position. Oh no. He has to get the jump cue out there. You don't often see Biardo jump. Shorty. Linea Turtle brings the shorty out. Wow. 
Get your cameras ready, guys. This is a rarity seeing Biardo get the jump stick out. position for this Look at pretty good with a jump cue as well isn't he well I've heard anyone can jump with the air rush though seven. even I can jump with the air rush call the seven in, in, in the side pocket here Just so talented, this guy. <laughs> Needs it to either slow up or run, one of the two. Played it with a good pace. Played Might it very confidently. Got him confidently. in trouble here. Yeah. Side pocket. Even this Think bottom right-hand corner. I like playing it in the right-hand corner. Let yeah, he doesn't go, though. That's the problem. Ah. Safety. Nicely hide. Such a beautiful touch he's got, hasn't he? Just stroking the balls around the table. Not so much a tiger, the black tiger, more a black pussycat, the way he strokes them around. Marcus. So. Akayama in all sorts of trouble here. The way he started off, those first few balls that he smashed in, I thought, wow. Yeah, there was something. What, what happened in the first set when it changed all of a sudden? I think it was a... Uh, I think it was a, a bad kick that he tried, attempted from a good safety. That's all it takes. Yeah, we, we, we talk, you know, often about great technique and and fundamentals, but sometimes you just get na pure natural, raw talent like Biardo here, who really doesn't, you know, he's not textbook, is he? He doesn't do a lot, like no. as the books say you yeah, should, yeah, but yeah. he's just naturally brilliant. And that's why he's so good to watch. I'm a big fan. I'm becoming a bigger fan of Biardo, actually, the more I watch him. And I think it's because he does show a bit of emotion every now and then, you know, a little bit of disappointment. And you'll often yeah. hear him do this noise. <laughs> you know, that little <laughs> tut when he when it doesn't go quite right. You watch him. Yeah, yeah, he does that. He does that. But no tut in there, no disappointment. In it goes, first rack, as we were. In the first, he's in control, 1-0. Yeah, he's a great player, there's no doubt about it. Chang Yu Lung is in control as well. He's taking the first set against the Greek, Dimitri Lukatos. Sarik Saeed is on the hill against Jonas Ottenen, although Jonas has come back. He's 3-2 down now, Jonas. Francesco Candela from Italy. Here's the crowd watching on. Francisco Candela is 3-1 up on the hill against our good friend Kang Lee. One of the guys that puts up all these predator lights that you see in the distance on your on your TVs at home. Jeremy Seaman has lost the first set against Yoshihiro Kitatani from Japan. some announcements going on in the background. You haven't parked your car somewhere you shouldn't have, have you, Marcus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's lots of mini tournaments going on here. There's the Caribbean CSI League Championships as well. Over 250 players here for those. So there's plenty going on for the pool fan. We've got booths here. We've got Jam Up Apparel booth. We got the Predator booth. We got everything, every kind of booth. We got no, bars. No, I made a ball. Shot on the two ball. Yeah, and although it look at that, they're all in a line look almost. But even so, you know, you start taking. Yeah, look at this. He's looking at a little 
maybe a little cannon onto the five here as well to get position on the three. Three to the four, I suppose, is the... Well, he took a chance there and played a, a carom onto the three. Kept falling the cue ball. He was chasing it, wasn't it? He <laughs> said, don't leave me, don't leave me. Oh, it's thin. Can he cut it in? I think that's what he's going for, because he's got the rest out. He's got the bridge. Yes, he is. He's going for this. Thin cut with the rest. Let's see if he can make it. Always seems an urgency about his shots, doesn't there? Wow, it's there. Is he on the four ball? Well, he's Ooh. hit the four ball. Will he? Oh, don't call me crazy. Is there a four ten on? <laughs> Almost scratched off the four. Ten. He said ten. The carom or. <laughs> Carlo Biardo. Safety also in mind. Yeah. He went with a hand, waving the forearm. Well, dominating and he's full of confidence at the moment, which is why he went for that 10 ball. Why not? Mm. Yeah, he's played to hit that a lot thinner and he's going to leave it. Well, it's oh. going to be in the wrong pocket or it's going to be over the pocket, one of the two. Well, that's disastrous. Akagari Amiyama. Yeah, he is in the, he is in, that was a tough position to be in, though, where, where he was. That four was froze, and, we, you know, he hasn't had really an open shot since early, early this, the first set. Biado is kind of own, owning this match. He's, he's keeping the pace. Yeah, he's bossing it. He's calling the shots. We're calling the shots as mm, well. Yeah. <laughs> it's not ideal, but he, he'll be fine. Still choosing to use the wood shaft as well. He really is a field player, isn't he, Biardo? Run into the nine here, maybe. No, no need to. It's going to be 2-0 very, very soon, Marcus. Just the nine and the ten. And he'll be exactly halfway to victory. Marble high, Filipino. Marble high, yeah, Marble yeah. High. Marble high. Marble high indeed. I bet there's loads of them watching. Proud to be Pinoy. Up to the nothing. In favour of Mr. Biado. Yeah, I spent a lovely year, a full year in the Philippines, in Cebu and Manila. And it really is a very, very interesting country. Lovely people, with some great waterfalls there as well. And I'll tell you what else I did there. I swam with whale sharks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did play in a pool? I did play yes. lots. Yeah, I played a lot of pool. Almost every day I played. Pools in is crazy over there. It's like it's jungle. religion. It is. It's like religion over yeah. there, Paul. Everyone plays it. Everywhere you go, no matter what street you walk down, you hear clicking balls. It's only baseball and basketball that's bigger than pool. Boxing's pretty big as well. Uh, Manny, boxing, Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao. Manny yeah. Pacquiao, of course. He's got his own pool tournament, even though. So even he's a fanatic. Yeah. yeah. They're all fanatics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, breaking off in Carlo Biardo, two 0 up, looking to go on the hill. In the second set leads one to zero in the Madaya Light Puerto Rico Open. Black Tiger ready to pounce. 
much more power in that one. Has he made anything? Right. No, but, but he hasn't left anything either. What if the one goes in the side? Otherwise, he, he'll have to shoot this in the corner. done he's going for the 10 he wants a quick win here especially with where the five ball is as well no easy run out here yeah, I think you don't have to worry about the two here just concentrate on making the 10 because if you split your you know your dedication to one particular shot you need to put a hundred percent into this I think it's a high percentage make on this shot. Oh, he's missed it. Well, hasn't left the two though, I don't think. Will we see the jump queue again? We are twice in one match. A jump shot from Carlo Biardo. What's mm -hmm. happening? He made the first one look good. Let's see if we can make this one. Well, this is a hanger compared to the first one. Nicely. Quick run back, Carlo. <laughs> I've never seen a Filipino run before. That was first time. Yeah, they normally glide around the table. He must feel in free flow mode here. Has he got an angle here where he can disturb something? Has he got the angle to run into the seven, maybe, off the back rail? No. No. I don't it's too wide, isn't it? He'll come up with something, don't worry about that. Maybe up and down twice. No. Kick safe. Is that what he's thinking? If he banks this, I'm going home. <laughs> oh. oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, it really, it's a pleasure to watch this guy. Look at the little touch there, to, uh, Marcus. A little bit yeah, of right hand really English. Like a really good safety shot. Oh. Well, 5-10. Is it on? No. Five in the corner. No, it's safety down behind the eight. Is it going to get there? Is it going to get there? Yeah, just, just no, enough. No, I don't think it has. He wanted to travel just a tad more. Watch his expression. Watch his expression. <laughs> Scratching there. You see Efren when he takes something off his back. It's the monkey of this particular <laughs> throws it. Is that what it is? <laughs> Have you not seen him when he goes like this? Pull his back. That's what he's take he's taking his mon wow. monkey off the back. Yeah, but unfortunately he's gonna have to He actually called that. Called hitting the side, but a just in case kind of shot, wasn't it? Now he's got to jump this and probably caught the eight ball. 
Nicely done. Great shot. Nice jump shot. Beautiful. Making the eight. Really nice shot. Six ball stopped in a difficult spot. Trying to play a safety. Is he gonna get there? Yeah, good shot. Here comes another jump cue from Carlo Biado's side. Yeah, decent safety. This is rare indeed. Three in one match. Well, he's missed one. Or is he going to get a bit of luck? No. Chance then. For the man from Japan. This is a must shot. He needs to make this and get position to get in this game again. Oh no. Yeah, and that's what lack of table time does to you, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you just lose your potting boots, you know, your your, your stroke's it's gone. Tough. Yeah. And the pressure is on because you you need to make it you really need to make it to get back in the match. I mean Biado is catching a gear it feels like. Yeah, and, and that's loose. that's an added pressure because you know, you know that Biardo coming back at you isn't gonna miss very, very much. Has he missed an open shot? Yeah, I think he... The mistake he made when he hooked himself, when he, he had an open out, and he hooked himself on that, the, what was it, the three ball, I think. So Other than that, he's been clinical. Ten in the side for a 3-0 lead here. In the second set, looking very, very strong favourite now to go through and we're going to come back after a very very short break guys enjoy a little bit of music Welcome back. As referee Dwayne Payne gives the cue ball to Carlo Biardo, who's breaking off on the hill. Now, he hasn't had a lot of success with making balls on the break. Let's see if he can get one here in the uh, what could be the last rack. Wow. Gave him a good old whack. The four-railer. Oh, I thought he was going to make the four-railer for a second. He didn't. He can't work it out. I can't work it out either. Can you, Marcus Shamat? No, he, he found a couple of breaks that was good, but then all of a sudden he went back to where it looked like it was not one ball getting close to making. Yeah, the one that went closest was the four railer then, the seven ball. If Carlos is going to have a chance in this tournament, he needs to find his break better. Otherwise he's going to have a hunt. But I think a lot of players have... have problem making yeah, balls consistently. This, yeah, I haven't seen anyone who's really, really got the breakdown this week at all but it is 10 ball Kutch is here you know I've seen him you said that he, before he, he was playing now over there well you can't miss him he's two meters tall I think you're mistaking him for somebody else no Yama with a chance here. I'm not a gambling man, but I'll have a gamble with you that Ed Kankachi is not in this 10 ball Puerto Rico Open. How much are you going to bet? 
one one dollar. One Mumbai light. One Mumbai light. Okay. We're shaking on it, guys. You can't see, of course, but we are shaking on it. to stop yeah, Mika Eminem had another good win today as well some great matches coming up for you tomorrow Fedor Gorse is going to be in action S Sanchez Ruiz will be in action as well Darren Appleton going well finding some old form Tell you another person who's looked great and who finished in the final in Ohio as well, or was it Michigan? Robbie Capito. Mm. He's been playing very, very well. Still on the winner's side. So he's going to get one back by the looks of it here. He's just in free flow mode now. Knows There's it's no all room. but over. No way to come back. Just go out with a fight. And who knows what might happen. You know what I like about this format is it's never over. It's only down three to one. It's break. It doesn't take a miracle to come back and then it's the shootout. Yeah, in it goes. player doing pretty okay as well is the Estonian Dennis Grabe. Young Joey Tate is still in as well and what about the guy we saw earlier from Finland as well the other great Finnish player Petri Makanen he's playing some good stuff John Mora Alex Pagulayan the list goes on and on and on so many filler against yeah, Joshua Vincent. Filler as well. There's everywhere you go, you just see so many big names, and the only name you don't see on here is that Clint Catchy. And I'm really looking forward to my Madaya Light later on when we finish work. And I know you keep looking over my shoulder, but there's no Clint Catchy in this tournament. I'm guaranteeing it. Back to the people that are in it. The guy breaking off now. Four railer. No. Oh, he's made the three ball in the corner. And he's got a shot on the one little bump there as well, making the one ball even more accessible. Let's have a look at this. Nine ball went close. Three ball went very close. It dropped in the pocket. And look at that, just a little added bump on the cue ball. Leaving him with a nice shot. Just stun out into the centre of the table here. Two down the rail. It's okay. Won't be moving the cue ball too much here either. Just get off of that rail a little bit. Let's make sure you don't get behind any. Nice one. When he actually gets in and gets stroking, he looks great, doesn't he? He is a good player. Very good well, player. yeah, he's, you said he's a former world champion, so you don't win world championships unless you can play this game. Yeah, he knows this is the shot. This is the most important shot of this rack. Or the key shot, I should say. I'll even tell you why Eklund... Oh, he's missed the four ball. Yeah, interestingly, Eklund Katch is actually opening a pool room this week in his home country of Albania. No, he was just here. I was just a few metres away from him. No, I'm saying that he's, uh, he's opening... A, he is actually opening a... Uh, Thank you very much. 
I'm going to enjoy a little Matea <laughs> Light tonight, paid by Mark White. He's, <laughs> He's beat Ku Xuan Wei. Here's Biadu. Wow, and a shot from him. Wow. wow. Brilliant shot. That's worth another look. At look. look at this. That's going on the show reel. That's one that. Look at that. The round of applause in the background. Well deserved as well. Terrific shot, Biardo. Here's going to spin it on. Look at this. Look at this shot, Mark. They draw it. Oh, back. look at the, the reverse English on that. Comes out perfect on the six. He's putting on a clinic. It's exhibition stuff here from Biardo. Really nice. And the seven is over in the side pocket. He's have to, he just have to make this. Ninja Turtle with a mice. Yep. Yeah, Kagariyama, you can't make those kind of mistakes against a player with this caliber. Yeah, those two shots makes me want to see him in a in a friendly exhibition game. I reckon that's good to watch. Who knows? This could be the tournament that brings Biardo back. I don't know what his eight ball game's like, do you? <laughs> Can you just imagine, right? Oh, oh, we spoke too soon. Well. I'll tell you what, though. What a letdown at the end of such a great One rack. thing Akariyama is good at is cutting balls, believe me. Surely he's going to make this. And he has. Nice cut. So it's going to be another one back. <coughs> for the man from Japan. And in it goes. Three to two. in favor of Biado, but that was a mistake. Well, we're going to find out if there's going to be any more and who's going to win this match because we've got to go for a quick break, Marcus. thought it was all over but it isn't just yet could there be another twist Easily in Puerto Rico a couple good breaks Mark That's all. well there's one of them but no cigar yeah and look at the one ball doesn't go I suppose he could cut it in the side maybe decent power I wonder if the one passes between the four and five. That's what he's, he's having a good at. look. No, I don't think it passes the five, does it? This kind of game suits the Filipinos so well, you know, Mark. Because they know this game so well. The, tactic, the tactical stuff. Change the break. Safeties, the, l the little flicks. See? Yeah, needed just a touch more left-hand English on that to swing it behind the two. He caught the two, and there's an edge here, I think. Akagariyam. Would it 
probably preferred to have got behind the 10 net. Yeah, he got there anyway. Left it. Oh. Well, this match is not over you yet. You just never know, do you? Opportunity here. We thought we were heading to the canteen two racks ago. One of the three passes to five. That's the only problem here, I see. And isn't it funny how moods can change? Because now, hit this guy on your screens will be feeling on top of the world. He'll be feeling great. Biardo now, on the other hand, will be starting to get a little bit worried. Mm -hmm. Well, he's moving in his seat there. Can't believe he missed that nine ball. And I'll tell you what else is going to be shot. interesting. I'll tell you what else is going to be interesting. If it does go to a shootout, we've seen Biardo shoot the shootout tens many times, and he absolutely smashes them in. It'll be interesting to see if he's confident enough to do that still, or will he change it? Well, at the moment, it's looking like... No. Oh, he's missed it. Yeah. You still have to put the balls, though. Surely this is the opportunity that Biado is looking for. Overcut it. Yeah, you know, Biado could, be could have been getting just a little bit overconfident. Started playing the old exhibition shots. <laughs> Tried to force that nine ball in, missed it. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. Six is the only problem here, I see. Let's make sure he get a good angle. What a shot that is. Beautiful. Yeah, the fun is not over. Okay, Whatever. Come for the side pocket here. Oh, it's please. just got there. It's okay. It's not bad. He can draw off the bottom rail even, I think. It's not at least like the guy can round. play, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Coming up next on this table, Alex Kazakis is up against Ko Pin Yi. That's coming next, guys. The entertainment just keeps on flowing. Perfect. Perfect though, surely he's gonna make sure he's gonna make these balls. Yeah, he just has to keep calm here, not play anything too outrageous. Just stay in shape. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Played it off two rails. So just this 10 ball, surely a formality for Carlo Biardo to advance. Yeah, and in it goes, nice Biardo game. winning two sets to, to love. With me was Marcus Shamat in the booth. I've been Mark White and I will see you tomorrow. But don't go anywhere. Another match coming up. Kazakis versus Kopinyi next.